G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, Aki Projects. I'm Roy, good to see you again. So, in this video, we're having a look at building a really cheap, really lightweight um, tray for the 79 series. I'm still working on the steel tray before you all go crazy in the comments. I'm still working on it. Um, it's in the garage, taking up a lot of space. So I want to get it finished. There's a reason for this tray, which we'll get to soon. But for now, let's get on with the video. So the first step in my project was to find a really cheap um, second-hand aluminium tray. And I managed to find this one on Marketplace five, 10 minutes away for 120 bucks. Um, and I went and picked it up for hundred dollars. And yeah, old and pretty dirty, came off a 40 series, but I think it'll do the job. So once I had the tray back at my place, I um, went ahead and removed all the crusty old metal parts, um, including the mounts, off the tray. That way I could, I could sort of work out what I was working with and start to make it fit the 79. So the aim with this tray build is to keep weight to an absolute minimum. Where I live in New South Wales, a huge portion of registration cost is actually your vehicle tax and that's decided by the weight of your car. So if I can keep the tear weight of this cruiser below, I think it's 2,504 kilos, I can save 220 bucks every year in my rego. Now the 70 series has a curb weight of 2180 which gives me just over 300 kilos for the tray and any accessories when I cross the Weybridge. Alright, so I got the mounts out and I just popped them on the mount points on the chassis of the 79. Um, I've decided what I'll do is just cut these off, um, these old mounts and cut them all down to similar to the length of this one because this is the shortest one and I'll just stick a bolt in the end there and bolt in um, into the mounts on the 79 and we should be good to go. I had to make, well I will make up another one, another mount cross member because there was only three on the 40 series chassis. So yeah, I'll go through and just lop all these old mounts off and then later we'll re-drill them um, and we'll just yeah stick bolts through there. I'll weld some brackets onto this piece of gal. So these are all 75 by 40, apart from the new one, which is 75 by 50. Um, yeah, so we'll smash it all together and we'll weld some brackets on, and then we can sit the tray on and um, get ready to bolt it up. So here I'm just welding a couple of those old C-channel mounts back onto this piece of 75 by 50 to bolt the tray to. Pretty simple little job. I get a lot of questions on um, Instagram and in the comments here about how I learnt to weld and what welder I use, where I got it from and all that. I actually got this one from Bunnings. It's just a cheapie. Might have paid five or six hundred bucks for it on special. And um, it came with gasless wire, which is 
which is great for learning to weld. And my advice to anyone that wants to get into welding is just grab a cheap welder, a MIG welder, and um, some gasless wire and some steel either from Bunnings or for free on Facebook Marketplace or anywhere and just have some fun with it. It's a great skill to have and it's, it's really fun to do. Okay, time to start bolting these mounts up onto the ute. Just using some M10 uh, bolts here and actually some chopped up silicon intake hose to stop the bolts, the mounts from scratching the chassis um, and also to act as a bit of a buffer. Um, it's not so important on this aluminium tray because it's got a lot of flex in it, but with a solid steel tray, you want to put some sort of rubber in between the chassis and the tray just to allow the chassis to flex. It's the next Arvo. Um, there's the tray, it's on. Looking bloody good. I got some plastic flares. They're actually off a tip top tray, but I got those off a written off tray from somewhere. I don't know where. Um, so I chucked those on last night with a few techies in there. Um, yeah, and in general, I mean, yeah, looks bloody good. I have track, wheel track issues. It's a 79 series. Anyway, um, this here, well, these are my lights. So they're just a trailer light from Super Cheap. They were 25 bucks each. And that thing was pretty darn expensive too because it's Narva. Anyway, this right here is a, is the door off our old washing machine. So, I had a stainless steel washing machine, it broke down and I didn't know why at the time but I kept the door and here's why. So what I'm going to do is use this fold in it, um, cut it through here somewhere, mount the lights on them and just I'll just techie the lights up under here somewhere to something. Don't know what yet but let's get into that.
I'd actually forgotten about reverse lights, funnily enough, but I had a bunch of these four inch square work lights um, sitting in the garage. I think I bought a box of like 20 of them off eBay. They're about six bucks each, I think. So I chucked a couple of those on too. There she is, guys, all finished. I think the finished cost was $197, not including bolts or paint. So, yeah, call it what you will. Looks okay, looks good enough for now. Um, I haven't wired up any of those lights um, because the wiring loom is rotted off just under the cab, so I have to work on that. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time or your time with that, so. Thanks for watching, as always, um, leave me a like if you like the video, consider subscribing, press the bell, all that stuff, and I'll see you next week.